Hi activists! Welcome to another Projecting Your Voice video. I'm Chase. And I'm Serena. Today we'll be talking about bullying across the USA. Bullying has become a real worldwide issue, but today we'll be talking about bullying in the USA. Although people are doing the best that they can to promote bullying through organizations, websites, and more, there's still an ongoing issue. When someone says the word bullying, our minds go straight and jump into students physically fighting each other. But there are four different types of bullying. Bullying, cyberbullying, verbal bullying, physical bullying, and social bullying. There are many different websites to help prevent bullying, some including stopbullying.gov, National Bullying Prevention Center, and SchoolSafety.gov. Of course, there are so many more, though. There are also many groups or clubs. I remember with my friends when I started a anti-bully club. It didn't last that long, but I still encourage you to make your own. There are many different ways to stop bullying. For example, if you are the victim, you can always tell a bully in a confident way to stop and also ask an adult or teacher to help you get the situation it gets out of hand. If it's cyberbullying, then block the person. Many times, cyberbullies can also be hackers and scammers. I play this online game called Roblox. I'm sure many of you guys have heard of it. And there is a ton of games in that little world. And a lot of them you can get scammed in. Like you can steal your pets. They can steal your money. They can steal your house. They can steal your coins. Whatever you have, you can get scammed. So I encourage you guys to stay safe. You can also tell an adult, comfort, or stand up to someone who's getting bullied. I, one, my friend, she got bullied once for getting, for having glasses, and she couldn't see without her glasses, like she's almost legally blind, and I had to confront her, I had to confront the bully, not her, mm -hmm. and she was just really thankful after that and made me really happy, so I encourage you guys to do that. Yeah. There are four different terms when it comes to bullying. Term number one being the victim, which is the person being bullied. Term number two being the bully, which I'm pretty sure we all know who that is. Um, term number three being a bystander. A bystander is someone who watches a situation of bullying in action but does nothing to do about it. Well, an upstander is the opposite, where they'll watch the situation but do something, do an action to help you to um, make a change for the better. So, which person are you and which person do you desire to be? An upstander doesn't necessarily have to talk to the victim or confront the bully. An upstander can ask an adult if they need help. As, um, as, long thing, as long as there's change, the better is made. I try my best to be an upstander, but in some case, cases, it's better to be a bystander. For example, if someone's being abused, someone, if someone is abusing someone, it might be better just take a step back. For me personally, I've been bullied several times for my race, name, looks, height, and weight. It really, it really hurt when I first started getting bullied for my looks when I was just six years old. Like, imagine bullying a six-year-old. I battled a little less than half of my life getting bullied, and it's hard knowing that these are, this is the way we live in society. This is, you have to be perfect, you have to act perfect, you have to behave perfect, you have to think perfectly. You just have to be this perfect child, and I'm not that perfect child. I make mistakes, I lie, but at least I own up to it. And it can be hard, and thankfully I've only been verbally abused and not physically but so I usually my actions even though it's hard just to stand up for myself I usually tell the bully to stop and sometimes that does work sometimes it doesn't and if it doesn't work then I will let any adult I trust know bullying can have long-term effects like suicide depression love low self-esteem and more suicide rates are going up because of this imagine being a bully just to find out that someone to took their life because of you I know if I was the bully, I'd consider myself a murderer. Think before you act. Under no circumstances is bullying okay or cool. Bullying should never be tolerated. As weird as it sounds, your friend can even be a bully to you. If your friend is teasing in an unjoking like way or spreading rumors about you, they're not a true friend. I've had a fake friend before and she was like really nice to me for a few months and then she met this girl and she was really, she was a really bad influence, influence, and she goes, bye, I'm going to betray you, and she betrayed me, and she went with that other girl, and then she became a rude and sassy person. For me, I've had many fake friends, but one that's very much stuck out to me um, was one of my closest friends at the moment. She, it, w it was a couple years ago, but we were very close friends, and then we started to drift apart, but we were still like friends. We still kind of hung out. 
and but she met another friend and I'm not gonna say her name but she was a bad influence and then my friend um she became a bad influence and she started she would like um hit me and it just wasn't okay so I've had many fake friends but she's the one who's really just stuck out to me it could turn out the person who you would take a bullet for it could be the one behind the gun don't share secrets with people you don't trust so if you see anyone being bullied be an upstander bye activists and make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below for more videos.